Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adaze. Violet here. Today we are looking at Madonna, Bitchy, and Diva moments. I have looked at Selena Quintalina's funny and diva moment, but I've not looked at Madonna's before, so I'm gonna be checking it out today. And with that being said, we're just gonna get into the video. I did too. I have no context for what happened there, uh, but I'll hate to be the other person on the other line. That's all I'm gonna say. Do you think that's better just not to give them such a big... I don't think it's better. It's just what I'm doing right now. And why? Because I want to. So oh my god. You know what she gives me the vibe of? She gives me the vibe of Rihanna. Like, take no shits, give no shits, and just be in herself. And that is probably why she had such a big ass balls <laughs> to be revolutionary and to be a trendsetter because she didn't give a shit. So someone who knows about sound better come up here and explain something to me. <clears throat> I'm waiting. She seems like she would be a scary person to work for and to interview in honesty. She is not taking any shit from anyone. How would you feel if you're the sound guy? Wouldn't you just be like shitting your pants? Do the Homer slowly backing up into the <laughs> into the bush? That would be me. People think that if you're a girl, you're going to be a pushover and they can get away with more. They can um, kind of pull the wool over your eyes. You don't have to be as strong as a man and, and like getting what you want, demanding what you asked for. But um, I just surprise them when they see that they're wrong. Ooh, she said that. I feel like I've heard um, Nicki Minaj say that too. Like when you're a guy and you're strong, you're like a boss man. But when you're a woman, you're like, a bitch pretty much is what she said and I guess Madonna was has been on that wave <laughs> do I have to listen to this Come on. <laughs> why is Madonna like guys why is Madonna like this she just says everything that's her mind like know how you have certain thoughts in your mind but it's like oh, I'm not gonna say that that's gonna sound rude she's like I don't give I'm Madonna bitch I'm Madonna I'm gonna say whatever I want to say and she said it I see uh, uh these pictures uh, on the internet of some of your top stars of the day without their underpants. I remember one night right here a long, long time ago, I you, you a gave me a pair of underpants yeah. of, and I still have them. <clears throat> yes, I do. Maybe you can send them to Britney. <laughs> Welp. Was that shots fired at Britney or is that more her just being clever in the moment? To be fair, I don't know anything about Madonna and Britney's history. I think they might have had beef in the past, but confirm that for me if that's true. I feel like I've heard that before, but I'm not really sure. So let me know, because that seemed like it was some shots were fired. If you got it blocked, it's right. Mm-hmm. That's true. Thank you. Oh! Neat. Anybody who says my show is neat has to go. She said what? Anybody that says my show is neat has to go. Yeah, I don't know why you'll go to a Madonna concert. I've never been to one. Actually, I've seen her at Coachella when she was up on the stage with Drake and they, like, they made out. Remember that? Yeah, I was there. I was like, oh, but um, yeah, I wouldn't describe Madonna's concert as neat. I think neat sounds too professional to like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> and that is not her show. Let's sell it like a video single. It's never been done before. And, you know, the controversy just happened. It wasn't planned, but, you know. But in the end, you're going to wind up making even more money than you would have. Yeah, like, I know that's right. Me. Lucky you indeed. How much is Madonna worth? Madonna is worth, according to Google. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Eight hundred and fifty million dollars. I was not expecting that. I was expecting maybe like three fifty, four fifty. Homegirl is out here about to hit a billion. So, kudos to her. I love what she's wearing. I didn't hear what she said, but she looks amazing. I love those shades, the pearls, her whole look, her hair. But she just looks like she doesn't give a damn to be where she is. I wonder how much, because she is Madonna after all, and I feel like you are the Madonna. When people start saying the before your name, you know you have made it. She is the Madonna. I wonder how big your ego has to get. Like, it, you must just feel like the shit and the biscuit. Right? I feel like it's inevitable. The fans will love the film, I think, but some people are going to find sections of it offensive. Well, that's their problem, though. You don't if they're... It. No, of course not. It really is their problem. I feel like it will get really, really tiring as a celebrity or a singer, artist, whatever, to keep hearing people saying, oh, like, people are going to find it offensive. I mean, people can find me putting my shoe on offensive. I don't know. I'm just being extra. But you can find anything offensive if you really want to. So what am I supposed to do about it? If you find it offensive, turn it off. Like Britney Spears said. 
it's so redundant. Of course, some people are going to find it offensive. Just have to, you know, turn it off. And the people that like it can like it in peace, you know? What is driving you nuts here? What's, what's troubling you? About you or what? life in general? Well, well, let's start with life in general. <laughs> no, let's just get back to you. Okay, fine. Ooh, why is she firing these shots? To be fair, I've seen that guy, uh, what's his name? David Letterman. One, like, you watch, like, the um, early 2000s, late 90s, and, like, you hear some of the questions he asks his guests. They're very, very shady, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was asking her a lot of stuff that she didn't like or just commenting in weird ways. But she said about you or what? It feels um, reductive. Is that good? Look it up. I know that clip and I think that's when they asked her um, how she feels about people comparing Lady Gaga to her I think or something like that matter of fact let's look it up I already know what it means but tending to present a subject or problem in a simplified form especially one viewed as crude she's been watching like you're reducing her enough to be comparing her to Lady Gaga I feel like if I was Lady Gaga, that would hurt more than if she would just be like, don't compare me to her, like, she's nothing like me. Like, it just seems so dismissive and so, like, I don't even care enough to comment on that. The only thing I have to say is it seems reductive. Ooh! Ouch. I have a problem with the fact that there's no air in here and I'm gonna die. Open the door now. I'm suffocating. Um, Damn. She is definitely someone in the room that when she comes in, you have to make sure everything your T's are crossed, your eyes are dotted. I said that line totally wrong, but she's one of those people you have to pretty much make sure like every single thing is right. And you know what? She is Madonna. I'm pretty sure she didn't get to be the Madonna by being fickle or not being assertive. So kudos to her. She is worth $850 million today because of her personality. What can I say? Anything. I'm very happy with the choices I've made, right? What's the worst thing about being famous then? That you have to answer stupid questions. Mm -hmm. Shots fired at the interviewer, but I can imagine I've watched a lot of celebrity interviews and they get asked exact same questions over and over again. This is your home? That is, well, it's one of my homes. Oh. Not oh. bragging or anything. Yeah. She said, correction, it is one of my homes. Plural, not singular. Get it right. <laughs> can I ask you this one about you and Maura Blakey? How are you getting on? Huh? Can you ask me first? You ask, you let me answer if you can ask me, then you can ask the question. Um, no, can't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Madonna was assertive and I knew she was like, get it right, get it tight, or don't come at all. But she is not taking any prisoners. She said, first of all, let me answer if you can ask me that question. And no, you can't ask me that question. <laughs> Somebody stuck some big fat man up in the front, giving me dirty looks all night long, I swear to God. And don't hide back there, Warren. Get over here. What? What, do you think is the most <laughs> what is going on? I am done. She said someone is stuck. Oh my god. What do you think is the most tiresome current trend in music? Tiresome current trend. Ooh, covering other people's songs. Really tired of that. AKA covering her songs and covering her trend setting. But I also would argue that that was. That helps her because imitation is the best form of flattery. Something like that. It goes something like that. And I feel like people copying her is what makes her a trendsetter, right? Because she's setting a trend and that people are copying her. But it will be annoying in a moment. But I feel like in a grand scheme of things, it will add to her legacy in a way. Let me know what you think about that. I want to hear your input on that. Some people think Diva is a bitch. Some people think Diva is a, a grand dame. Um, a good old girl. A, a, I don't know. You know, a goddess. And yes, I do think I am. All of those things. I don't necessarily say you have to be a bitch to be a diva, though. Just like a grand goddessy, like diva. Like, we know anything of diva. You think of gold and just. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of diva. I'll consider Mary Carey is obviously like a well known diva. Madonna is definitely diva. I would say Beyonce is a diva. I don't know. I, I don't think you have to necessarily be a bitch to be a diva though. Let me know. What is your definition of a diva? Let me know in the comments. You passened away. You can you say that? Passened away. Made a path. Yeah, made a path. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you I think mean maybe 
maybe things don't change because of me, but maybe it opens people's mind up a little bit, and then the next person after me has a little bit easier time than mm -hmm. the next person after that. Yeah. How um, yes. Young female musicians or artists that thank you for that? No. <laughs> no. Should they though? Um. Yes, they should. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And, and do you have the feeling that they are ungrateful? Yes. Ooh! yes. She finished her sentence for her. Are you ungrateful? Yes. Yes, she definitely put a path down for everyone else to make it way easier she took all the controversy on give them their flowers and be grateful <laughs> as madonna says madonna seems like she is a really intimidating person she doesn't um try to put on to make people comfortable like she doesn't try to smile she just has her like that's how she looks when you're interviewing her i remember when i told lauren to bring me a present she did brought me this really cool shirt from dolce and gabbana See, I get what I want. <laughs> she said, I get what I want. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I feel like if you're an assistant yeah. or just someone that works with her daily, you have to be on your P's and Q's. Like, you have to be like, ready to serve if she says jump you say how high oh i don't know that's too much pressure that's too much pressure for me i couldn't do it how did you deal initially with fame good question oh, i thought it was fun in the beginning i mean i didn't mind it at all so you like people point you to i'm knowing you on the street yeah sure it appealed to my ego <clears throat> I feel like fame is one of those things that will be fun for like the first three months, maybe even the first year, just because why not? But then I feel like after that, um, it'll be annoying. What do you think they can't cope with what you're doing? My honesty, mm. um, my opinions about sexuality, the mm -hmm. fact that I am a woman and that I am, that I have success, that I have money, that I have fame and I have fortune and that I do it on my own. I don't need a man mm. in that respect. I think that frightens a lot of people. She don't need no man. <laughs> she don't need she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. But yeah, um, I can imagine. Even today, we're still having these same conversations. So I can imagine in the eighties, the nineties, conversation was running deep. A room full of people that I admire. She looks so good here, by the way. Oh my god, I love her hair and makeup. That I appreciate, that I adore, that I love. And that I would all separately at one time or another like to smack the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm done. She just had she just had to end it off with some shade. She just couldn't let it go that way. She had to end it off with a little bit of judge, you know? Bold. Bold. Yes. Madonna does not take any of your nonsense. She'll make sure of it. Right when you sit down with her, you know she's not talking to any of nonsense. Like, I didn't know she was this wild. <laughs> she is, Madonna is a diva, if I have ever heard of a diva. That was crazy. I want to see what people are saying in the comments about it. Her reactions are so funny. A lot of people don't get her dry sense of humor because she's a pop star. People take it so literally. Yeah, it seems like she has a lot of sarcasm and dry sense of humor. And because she doesn't have a smile that accompanies, accompanies it, it seems like it comes off very true and very like mean even i have problems like figuring out where is humor and where is just like her being fed up madonna really is unique very sarcastic with a quick mind she has an imposing personality yes she does almost intimidating and doesn't care about anyone else thinks very much that and i feel like it's almost she has to be that way because like i said before she was very controversial she probably had a lot of backlash and you have to grow tough skin and you have to almost have a shield when it comes to the media and talking out in the public. And she is more than intimidating. Like, if I was interviewing Madonna, especially back then, I would be shitting my pants. This woman seems to know how to handle herself. Yes. She knows how to handle herself. She knows how to get her way. She knew how to obviously get where she is today. And she knows how to make sure that she takes care of herself and doesn't give people too much leeway to just disrespect her. You have to give it up to her. She did it right. That was me looking at Madonna. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know all your thoughts about this video. And 
If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell because you do not want to miss my videos. With that being said, I have a big shout out to give to TWST.store. This is an automated trading software website where you can find automated trading software deals. So if you are into trading and would like to learn more, visit their YouTube channel by clicking the link in my description box below. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.